unbuttoning the pants, you guys, because it's really happening here. Yes, here, welcome back to my channel. So we're back again today with another one of our trying food series. Yes. And today, tell me what we're gonna try. So we had this idea to try like foods from the 90s or basically like foods from our childhood pretty yeah. much. So in this video, I brought foods from my childhood to show yes. And then on the video on my channel, we're gonna do like her my childhood video, yeah. foods that she's gonna show to I'm bringing moi. again my goodies to her. Yes. So. I do recognize some of these. I don't recognize some of these. Okay, yes, we got, who, who knows what these are? Because honestly, these were such a thing for me in my childhood and like mm -mm. my elementary school and nobody else seems to know what they are. But like these, ugh, we're gonna get to these yeah, no, very soon. I've, I've never but seen those But there's so before. many that like, we have a bunch the, of good stuff. We have a bunch of good stuff that we both used to love as children, but particular stuff, particularly stuff that I used to love, like protein bars. Like I was obsessed with protein bars, so I brought a protein bar. This and is my favorite didn't protein even bar. Know. I used to eat like six packs of these per week. Like that's how much I love these. Zone perfect fudge gram. It had to be fudge gram. If it wasn't fudge gram, I wasn't about it. Didn't even um, know what a protein bar till like a year ago. I was an athlete, so like I always was told to like yeah. eat a lot of protein, but. I think we should start off with Dippin' Dots mostly because they're gonna um, melt. melt. But I did get two different flavors, cookies and cream and also rainbow. And obviously like rainbow. we needed the Dippin' Dots, you know what I mean? Like this was just such an iconic snack, candy, what, mm, ice cream, mm -hmm. <laughs> dessert in the 90s. Like I remember going to theme parks and being like, I remember, all I want yes. is Dippin' Dots. No, all I remember I going to Wild Water Adventures, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is a park that we have Push in them. Clovis. And I remember that's what it reminds me of. Mimi, how did you open it? So oh, you just pull go. it, yeah. Professional. How do you how do you eat these though? Um, with a spoon. With a spoon. Yeah. Because I remember I they would give them to you in a cup. Okay. Um okay, these are slightly melted, but they still have some mm. balls in them. Are they good? Mm. I haven't had this in so long. Oh my god, dude, mm. this literally brings back memories. Like, mm. it literally reminds me of Wild Water Adventures. Wait, let me try this one. Mmm. Mmm. It's like the texture. Wait, it's this one, like, the rainbow one's like a sorbet. Yeah, I think that's I why I'm like that. obsessed with it. Yeah, and it's like, but you can mm. feel the dots melt into your mm. mouth. You can feel the dots in your mouth, you guys. Mm. Oh my god, yes. Mmm, try Eat. this one. Honestly, the ice cream tastes better than most ice creams. Like, it's very like, mmm. Try this one, try this one. Mm. I also did bring um, some drinks for us if we get parched. So I brought my favorite soy milk of all time from when I was a child. Yeah, I had what? kind of like a healthy upbringing actually, but I used to go through like bottles of this. So this is silk soy milk, very vanilla. It's very difficult to find this, but I went to like three really? stores. Yeah. It's harder Why? to find now. They used to sell it at Whole Foods, but it was way too sugary, so they stopped selling it there. So you have to go to also, um, it's like a sweet other ones. Yeah. And then I also brought Sunny D because obviously that was like such a childhood thing. Sunny D was actually, I remember the commercial. Sunny D was everything such was so a happy thing. in the commercials. Yeah. Let's do Sunny D for now to just, you know, like all the clear kids. it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clear it out. Oh shit. And then I'm also, while well, we're having like a little breakfast here, I'm also going to start making the oatmeal. So the Dinosaur Eggs Quaker Oatmeal. I can't even tell you, like at my elementary school, this was like all the rage. Like if you really? had the Dinosaur Eggs you were Oatmeal, the you were the, mm, mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted to be your friend, honey. Everybody. You were so basically um, what this is, is it's um, brown sugar instant oatmeal, but it actually has like little, eggs in it that like when you put hot water in it it expands and, and changes into like, a dinosaur. I feel like there's almost like a slight slight remembrance. Don't think that's a word. We should pour so I think we should pour the oatmeal in first and then show them the eggs. See these little eggs right here? Oh. There's literal eggs like mm. in here. Is that like a lucky charm? Um it's it turns into a dinosaur. So, but is it like a lucky watch. charm sugar or is that It's edible? more like a sprinkle. It's like a sprinkle. Um our water isn't hot enough. Well. Wait, did that one, one turn into a dinosaur? Almost. <laughs> some technical difficulties but now she's just like eating the egg part off 
But see, this is how, this is what turns into, what the egg turns into. It's a dinosaur and it's a, a little sprinkle. little dinosaur. Sprinkle. Interesting. Yes. So the, um, the actual oatmeal itself is honestly just normal oatmeal. It's brown sugar flavor. I'm never a big mm. fan of oatmeal and I don't remember having these in my childhood. Mm. Honestly, better than I remembered. Mmm. Mm. I got two sprinkles in my mouth at once. Mmm. I mean, you know, that's oatmeal. I'm not a big fan of oatmeal also, so. I didn't have these, but you know what is good? The candy. I know. Oh, look at this one actually did melt. And it was an actual dinosaur. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. See what I'm saying? So you put it in as eggs, and then and they you come eat out it as, as a dinosaur. dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Do you remember Fig Newtons? Oh, did you love those? Yeah. Oh my god. I <laughs> what? Okay, so my mom. Who loves those? My <laughs> <laughs> my mom was really strict on like if to me to eat healthy foods. Yeah. So this was like the only thing that I because all the rest of the stuff I would have to get from friends. Like my mom was not. <laughs> she buying was out that. here in the streets like, <laughs> trading for lunches. She was not did buying you gushers. Know? Yes, you yes, and my brother did too. But she was not like out here. But no, because honestly, my mom would like make me salads and like sandwiches, <laughs> and nobody wanted to trade with me. So it was only the nice people that would actually just share with me. It was no trading going on because I didn't have anything good to trade with. Because gushers, absolutely not. We're never going to be in my house. Pop tarts, never. Um, these candies, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Dippin' dots, no. Like, <laughs> this is when I'm with friends. Like, that's when I was, like, able to, like, try these foods. So there's very select <laughs> memories of them. But my and foods at home were, like, <laughs> protein zone bars <laughs> and fig newtons. Those are my, my uh, snacks. Okay, guys. imagine you going to school like, <laughs> who wants to trade a fig? <laughs> and everybody, Ooh. wait, what did you get at school though? Like, what is like, you, would you ask people or would people ask? Like, like, my friend was nice, so she would ask her mom to pack me extras. <laughs> like, she would like ask her mom, like, mom, can you pack an extra Rice Krispie for rocks? Like Rox, Rox, uh, my my nickname back then was more like Roxy. Um, now I now I usually go by Rox, but like yeah, she was like Roxy wants like a Rice Krispie. Like, could you pack me an extra one? Or like oh she would always have fruit rolls too, so she would get like two or three so we could oh, share them. Oh, that's nice. Cause she was nice. And then me shout out to Sarah. <laughs> My dad would buy these and they would go stale. They would get so hard all the time. Like I would like try one and be like, let me see, I'm gonna give it another chance today, you know, as a child. And I'd be like, okay. No, I'd be like, this tastes like and then yeah, and then For me, literally the whole like the whole package would go stale. And I'd be like, Dad, why do you I keep mean those? literally the sweetest thing in my house? No joke. It's animals. Of course. Obviously. Yeah, Everybody yeah, yeah. knows Danimals. These are the strawberry banana flavor because I'm pretty sure that was everybody's favorite. You know, I don't um, really remember flavors. Really? Cause probably because the strawberry banana was on the only one that people really ate. Really? Yeah. I, what if they promote this as like yogurt? Like, mm, I remember this one girl who was my friend. Her name was Rachel. Um, <laughs> she... <laughs> what? <laughs> It's just funny because like, hi Rachel. It's just funny because I always remember things too, and I remember down to the name. Yeah. But it's like funny because that's what you remember that person. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like I wonder if anybody ever Rachel thinks Trill. of me and is like, I it was eating Danimals. You know? Yeah. She used to have Danimal in her lunchbox every single day. I knew her from figure skating, so she would eat these at like 5 a.m. She would have a little Danimal and then also like um, a, a hot chocolate, a Mexican hot chocolate. Really? Yeah. She Abonita? was. Yeah. She was um, Filipino actually, but. Her caretaker, who would bring her to the rink, was uh -huh. um, Hispanic. Oh, okay. From Mexico. Yeah. She had the, the goods. goods. The abuelita. She had the goods. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But I, I actually this. never tried it. Or no, I don't know if it's abuelita, but it was spicy. Mm. It was Mexican abuelita hot spicy. chocolate. 
Oh, that's not spicy. Oh, then I don't think it was that, but it was hot chocolate. This is not as good as I remembered, though, honestly. Yeah, it's... Um, it's like a little too... Mm. Mm, yeah. It doesn't... It's not sweet enough yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the meat. Wow. It needs to be sweeter, guys. <laughs> What's next? Okay. Ring pops. Of course. Of course. Everybody knows a good ring pop. Like, honestly, like, they were what? so uncomfortable to wear, though. But I hella thought... Okay, tell me why I honestly thought that... Uh, what flavor do you want? Oh my god. The blue! The blue, okay. the blue, the blue, the blue. There's two reds, a blue and you a green. You want the blue? I want the blue. Actually, no, I'll take the red. Um, But tell me why I honestly thought that this was like real jewelry at one point and I was like, I'm like gonna get engaged with a ring pop. <laughs> Dude, I just remember it was like the thing to have. I remember when the commercials came out that it first came out or mm -hmm. that I can first remember. And it just was like such a thing. I mean, mine's a little deformed. Also, my finger's a little big now. And I mean, I grew up and it doesn't fit anymore. Maybe. What about your other hand? No, the other one's even bigger. Oh. Ow. Mm. And I mean, okay, pinky pop. I mean, it goes with your outfit, though. Mmm. Better than remembered. Yeah? Yeah. I think your it tastes how I remember. I mean, it's hard to eat on my pinky, though. <laughs> I know. I remember thinking, like, this is so uncomfortable. Like, it is, like, weird to eat, though. Like, as an adult, like, you would never eat something like this. Yeah, you never walk around just, uh, you know what I'm really craving? A ring, ring pop. pop. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I feel like it brings it back. Like, eating it is like, wow, I used to, like, love these. Yeah. Honestly, I would just buy them because they were a ring. I didn't really love them that much, though. I loved anything sweet, honestly. For me. You know what I loved? These caramel Those apple Those are pops. amazing. So good. I yes. used to get these at Halloween, and when people would, like, have them in their little trick-or-treat bowls, like, I would hella be like, can I have one more? Because <laughs> these are my favorite. Really? Yeah. Okay, these are so They're good. They're so oh good. Oh, my God, yes. These are so Wait, good, Wait, can dude? I taste the Sunny D? We haven't tried it yet. Yeah, oh, my God, yes. Mmm. I haven't drank any in a long time. That tastes different than expected, but honestly, it's really good. It's not orange juice. I thought it was like more orangey. Mm. It's like, mm. oh my god. It's better than I remember it, actually. Dude, it's such a throwback taste. Yeah. Mm. 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 Honestly, I wish I could. How do you like bite it like that? It's crazy. Well, Ideally, I would suck it forever, but since we're doing the video, I'll have to bite it. <laughs> I remember I hated it getting it chewy, though. Hmm? Because then, if you bite down, your teeth can literally get stuck to it. You never tried it? I wasn't a biter. I'm not. Never? A, I'm still not a biter, no. Never. It would hurt my teeth. We have to do this, Pop Rocks. I barely even remember how to eat these. You just put it in your mouth, right? Okay, we have three in here. Watermelon, strawberry, or tropical punch. Watermelon. Want watermelon? I'll go with strawberry. Yeah, I barely even remember these, but Pop Rocks were, again, such a big 90s food. Mm -hmm. Everybody and their mother had them in the little playground. Oh. You just go up top. Oh. I wish we had a, like a one of those microphones that's really oh like, like ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! It really popped. Yeah. You know? That? I like forgot until just now. Like the sensation. No, it's really a thing. How can this be legal? Look okay. at. Like, it's like a firecracker in your mouth. I like it when you do a, when you, did you hear my little snap when it goes snap when you bite it right on the dot? Like that. How is that legal? It feels like a firecracker in your mouth. I, I honestly, done. I remember the taste like it was yesterday, but I did not remember that it was that like poppy. Intense. That intense. I thought it was like a little less intense. No. Wow, it like really, really pops yeah. in there. Oh. oh my 
my god. Mm. I'm shook. These are fun. Processed with carbon dioxide. That honestly cannot be good for us. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it says processed with carbon dioxide. Mm. And then us dying. And then us, if this video never goes up, you know why. <laughs> I have to show you this. Okay, so this is something that um, I don't think you've oh, ever tried. Yeah. Right? Probably not. But when I was growing up, um, like my dad was always vegetarian and um, he recommended us not to drink too much dairy because we, me and my brother had a lot of allergies. So we always drank soy milk, always. This was before almond milk was a, was a thing. Coconut milk was definitely not a thing. Oat milk was definitely not a thing. Like that came way later. Soy milk was like the OG. And this particular one, very vanilla silk soy milk. Ooh, it was just everything to me. Really? It's super duper sweet, like very vanilla-y if that makes sense. It looks sense. like eggnog. Yeah. Does it taste like eggnog? It's very Wait, don't sweet. pour it so much. Okay. That much. Did you like eggnog? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, here you go. Yeah, see, I can't really drink eggnog. It's really thick. Mm, I haven't it tried this. It smells very vanilla. Yo, I literally haven't tried this in so long. Like, this is going to take me back. I can already tell. Like, how many years? I mean, like, Since I was, like, 10. You didn't drink it since you were 10? Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's when almond milk and like other milk started coming out and so they said that it was healthier. So then oh. my mom started buying those. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Oh my God. It's surprisingly really good. I don't feel like it's that sweet. I feel like if it's like, I don't feel like it's because we've literally been eating like oh, a lot of other probably. sweets, but it that is sucks. so good, you guys. If you can find this particular one, it's not just any soy milk, it has to be the purple one, the very vanilla. Like, that's the one that I'm recommending to you if you like sweet. Honestly, milks. it's really good. It's so good. It's like creamy and mm, it's like, but vanilla it's, not that, it's not that creamy, in my opinion. Let me see. Less than an eggnog, but more than a regular milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's what? next? What do you have for me next? Can we do a candy? Mm -hmm. Do you have more candies? Um, no. <laughs> yeah, you do. Let's do Gushers. Oh, that's a candy? I thought that was like a snack. No, Gushers is a candy. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's fruit snack. Wait. I feel like it's like not fruit. A candy? It's like fruit by the foot. It's like. Is that not a candy? Mm -mm. So then what the, what's a candy? Yeah. What? That's so insane. I did not know that. Huh? Do you guys remember the OG packaging that was actually paper? Oh my god! <gasps> I forgot about that! That's a real gusher. This is like futuristic stuff. Oh my god. I forgot well, about that. But when you that. can just like open yes. it so easily. But they still look the same and they're always stuck together as always. Mm. All, Dude, as always. I so remember Brian buying these at Brian. <laughs> Brian. I remember buying these at mm. some store called Bridge Store. Mm. Wow. Dude. Nothing else tastes like this. It has so like the good. perfect amount of fruitiness. Mm -hmm. For some reason, when I was younger, I did think that it gushed out more. I thought there was more inside. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. When you grow up, you notice like what? Well, that's whatever. <laughs> like it's not like in the commercials when like they it gush it out and it's like, and a, it like a river of gushers. No. Mm. It was not like that. Mm. Mm. That's all that was in there. Oh. It, Amazing, mine got all of me now. Okay, what would you rate the rest of the stuff so far? What was your favorite? Mm, the Pop Rocks? The Dippin' Dots. The Dippin' Dots, wow! Mm -hmm. Those remind me of Wild Water Adventures with my family when it's already later, like not in the morning. What? Like I remember, like I like I remember specific days. Oh. Yeah, so like for me, like this reminds me of a specific day. After, no, one day when I got picked up from school early and this was there. And then at my grandma's house. And the Dippin' Dots, like a specific day, the sunset going down, it's a thing. And then my parents. And then your parents living. Yeah. Living their best lives. Living their best lives. Did you ever eat Teddy Grahams? Yeah. Rachel had Teddy Grahams. Damn, Rachel. Girl. I mean, you Rachel. Had all the girl. You had all the snacks. Oh my god, and do you remember that Barbie song? <gasps> I don't remember it actually, but it was like, oh, I wish I remembered it, it so bad. No, 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 not that one. It was from a commercial, like it was like, uh, I don't remember, <laughs> and then me, uh. So close, yeah. so close. Never mind, but we made up a dance to it. <laughs> that was the whole story. 
Okay, wait, let's take, wait, they have little packages of these too, no? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. I got the honey flavor because honey, obviously. Honey and cinnamon were my favorites. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They have a distinct gram taste too. Yes, very distinct, but they're good. I really like these. Teddy grams. Like still would eat today. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. And honestly, I'm just saying the soy milk goes pretty well with everything. Although when my when I was a kid, like I would be able to like finish up a whole pack with my brother. I, I mean, kid, yeah. I could too, but I'm surprised that you could because you don't. She doesn't don't usually do well with sweets. Mm -mm. But when I was little and like I would be like with my home girls and my homeboys <laughs> on the block, like when the ice cream man would come by, we would go over there. And I heard like, Yessie from the block. <laughs> yes, and then me, Yessie from the block. Yes, honey. And then me out there getting my paletas and my candies. Should we do the protein? <laughs> yeah, let's do the protein. Okay. Let's see what your childhood was all about. This was literally, dude, literally my childhood. Like I'm not even joking. This protein bar specifically was like my childhood. Like. In my lunchbox, when I would take it to the skating rink, I would have like six bars of these. That's a whole box. Like I would eat oh a box God, a yeah. day. And then like I would have oranges. Like that's literally all I ate was like protein bars and oranges. It was so crazy. Um, but this is Fudge Graham Zone Bar. Wait, do you remember having your first candy? Um, I did have like a your candy. first bad candy. Like not bad, bad candy? not bad, but like not protein, but like gushers. Um, I did one time when I was like uh, four years old for Halloween and I threw up because I was I had never had sugar before that. Yeah. <laughs> what? Was it traumatizing? Um, well, no, because no. you love sugar. <laughs> I mean, absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, you deprived. that was the start of everything. I mean, I was deprived for so long. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, that's funny. Mm, dude. This is literally, like, I can literally see myself sitting in Pickwick Ice, like, in the little uh, place where I, like, put my skates on, like, getting ready for my session. Really? Yeah. I and mean, how does it taste to you? It tastes like a protein, like, healthy, mm. like a healthy snack, you know? Mmm. But that's cool because I feel like even if, like, the snack itself almost isn't that amazing, like, it's attached, it's to, attached so many to so many memories, memories that, like, it tastes good. This is literally, like, I can literally see myself putting on my skates, like, about to skate. Like, so funny. about to go on my next session. Oh, my God. It's such that's a That's so funny because you were so healthy. Yeah. Like, as a child, like, who had this, you know? <laughs> like, anything that didn't look super, like, colorful was, like, not... You know, mm -hmm. maybe they should like, mm. they should have done that. Like do colorful packaging on these to entice kids to eat healthy stuff. Well, that's, this was for adults. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this isn't a kid snack at all. Hey, this is literally for adults. Okay, should we do, um, let's do Ritz Bits. Okay, yes, I know Ritz Bits. I feel like everyone knew Ritz Bits. Yeah. It was like, I wouldn't say that this was one of my favorites, but it was definitely something that like, again, Probably Fig Newtons and Ritz Bits were like the only things that like my mom be like, okay, oh, this fine. Is like one of the, like, you can find, you can have it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like okay. she was like really into, like my dad too, like both of them wanted me to be super healthy. But this was like, okay, like maybe. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it's a possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just a hard no. Okay. I mean, they're all broken. <laughs> oh, what a bummer. It really is a bummer when things are like falling apart, you know? And I mean, wow, a lot less appetizing than I remembered, honestly. Like, they don't look like they do they in the don't picture. Look, yeah. <laughs> they don't look like they do in the picture at all. Okay. So that's a little bit of cheese. Mm. Dude, I haven't had these in so long. I remember vending machines. That's what I, really? my memory is, like vending machines with these in them. I don't have like a specific for this one. I just remember I haven't had it in Honestly a though, I don't love these. At no, all. no. Like I definitely wouldn't eat them now. The cheese is just so like artificial flavored, to me. It just kind of tastes like whatever. It just tastes like we. I don't know. Yeah. Fake. It just tastes like fake, fake cheese. It is. And then me, filling made with real cheese, Ritz, Nabisco. Tell me, <laughs> tell me about this. What is that true? cheese? What? It literally cheese? says. It's look, probably, it I know, but it's like a certain percentage. Filling of, like, made with real cheese. I know, but. I mean, and then me, and then me. Hmm. <laughs> Debatable. Debatable. <laughs> okay, brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts. There's two types of people in this world: people who like the strawberry pop tarts and people who like the brown sugar cinnamon. I was a brown sugar cinnamon person. 
I didn't really like any other cutting of pop tarts. I just liked eating the outside part and the front part. What? Yeah. But the front part with Here, the icing. Here, we could just share oh, yeah. one. There's so two. Oh, yeah. There's two. Dude, I mean, oh, my God, wait. Mmm. Mm. The smell. The smell, the of smell of brings you back. This is interesting because I don't think I ever had one. Oh my god. Honestly, hmm. I don't have a specific. Hmm? You yeah. do too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a specific memory with this, but I just. Childhood mm. in general. How would I never tried this? You've never tried the brown sugar cinnamon? No. The Are you joking? No. Dude, the brown sugar cinnamon is where it's at. Like, what? Whenever people would only have strawberry, I'd be like, what are you doing with your life? That is not enough. It's not doing it justice. The brown sugar cinnamon is so good. I know. I could never finish the red one because it was just too sweet, but this is like a good it's medium. It's a good medium. Oh my God, yes. No, never tried it before. So good. My favorite. Been missing out my whole entire life. My pants are literally like all the way down now because they unzipped all the way down. <gasps> all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. That's it for today's video. I hope that some of these foods brought back some memories for you. Um, head on over to Roxette's channel because now we're going to be trying like stuff that I have from like my childhood. And I know that it'll probably be similar to like things that we have here. But yeah, let me know if you guys recognize any of these things and then if any of them fit tick. If any of them fit tick. <laughs> <laughs> if any of these candies take you guys back to your childhood, let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.